Vixens, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Valerie, and I have a little co-host named Violet, who's crashing right now. I just saw that. She's been kind of... Okay. Um, yeah, she's been sleeping most of the day. I don't know. She's, uh... We're uh, out of our normal routine today, so um, I hope everyone's doing well. We're doing good. We're doing good. So, guys, today I'm doing, oh my gosh, it is so windy today. Just crazy windy, um, but it's hot. It's really hot, so I think we're going to get, we're supposed to get some snow or some snow. We're supposed to get some rain. <laughs> I'm so used to the snow. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get some rain today, I think, and uh I hope my neighbor mows my lawn before that I, that I hired him to mow my lawn because my lawnmower is not working. So I hope he gets out there and gets it mowed before it rains because it really needs mowed. Anyway, so we're doing a Aldi haul. Um, I did this. This is like a collective haul, guys. And uh, I did the candles um, a couple weeks ago. And then I did a haul what I got today. Okay, so let's get into it. Um, so today, guys, I got some snacks, okay? I'm keto. Um, I do keto, so I got some snacks today, and they have some really good snacks, uh, keto snacks at uh, Aldi's, and they're pretty okay price. So I got two bags of the keto crackers. They have them in the cheddar, and they also have them in the, um, like, everything but the bagel type seasoning in it, too. And uh, these are good. I've not tried the everything but bagel one, but these are really, really good. I like these. I like these little crackers. I don't get them all the time, but I do get them occasionally. These are like three bucks, two ninety nine a bag, and you only get four ounces. But I mean, I'm not eating them all the time. They're a good alternative to regular crackers, especially when you're. Somebody's freaking out on their motorcycle or something. And they're really good alternative. They have four net carbs. And about serving for about four about nine pieces is a serving. So I spurred on these occasionally. No kind of Mm, 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 mm. Right, I got some keto cookies. You know, they have these in Snickerdoodle and chocolate chip. And they're good. These are good. I like these better than the high key. So, this is one gram of net carbs per serving. And the serving is seven cookies. And they're just little bitty cookies, but they're good. The Snickerdoodle are good. The chocolate chip is good. I wish they did peanut butter. But these are good. These are $3.09 a bag. And you get three ounces. It's expensive, but keto stuff's expensive. So I get those occasionally too. I like those crackers, but man, they get kind of need something to drink. All right, guys, so that's what I, oh, I almost forgot. I parted my hair on the other side today, and it's kind of not, like, wanting to go the way I want it to go, so it's kind of bugging me. Okay, so for a long time, I've been getting into, you know, I've been getting into candles and everything again, and, you know, I've been wanting to find something to trim my wicks with, and I have not been able to find them anywhere. I've looked at Walmart. I've looked all over the place. Couldn't find them. And I really didn't want to spend like a lot of money on them. And I went to all these today and they have a kit. They have a, it's from Huntington Home, candle snuffer, wick trimmer, and dipper set. And this nice pretty box. I mean, that's pretty. And they have like a couple different styles. They had another one that had like everything inside of it was gold. And everything, I chose everything to be silver because I like silver. This is a pretty box too. And it's like magnetic. And so this is what it looks like inside. And this is like rubber, like a nice rubbery stuff. So 
you got your trimmers, wick trimmer, which, you know what I've been using? I've been using toenail clippers. <laughs> because it'll go straight down, but now I don't have to do that. I got these, so I don't have to use my toenail clippers anymore. <laughs> so that's going to be nice. And these feel substantial. I mean, they don't, they're not like lightweight. They feel substantial. And then, this thing, I'm not sure what it is. It is uh, a wick dipper. Okay, a wick dipper. The dip, wick dipper is a long stem with an angled end that allows you to dip the wick into the wax melt pool to extinguish the flame. The purpose is to fully extinguish the flame, which eliminates smoke and soot while also coating the wick in readiness to be trimmed before your next use, which will mac maximize your candle burning experience. Cool. So that's what this guy is. Look at that, so you can take it and just bend your wick over and then prop it back up and it's ready to go for you the next time. Pretty fancy, huh? Yeah. All right, the next thing is a snuffer. And really, the snuffer and the, the wick trimmers are really the only two things I was wanting. Um, here's your snuffer that you can snuff your fire out. And I like how it kind of moves. So, yeah, so you just, you just snuff it out and then there you go. And it's got like a little bit of texture there on the handle, if you can see. And this is all in silver. I love this. I really love this. I'm so glad I went in there today and found this. Um, this was like nine dollars. This whole kit was like nine dollars and something. And um, oh, I didn't get that in there very good. He was like nine sixty two, something like that, which is not bad at all. Not bad price, I didn't think. Okay, so the candle snuffer. Use the candle snuffer to extinguish a candle by gently lowering the bell onto the candle flame until the bottom of the bell makes light contact with the wax pool. Wait for three to five seconds and lift off. The flame should be extinguished with no afterglow. Wipe the base of the snuffer with a cloth to remove any residual wax. And then the wix trim, wix, wix trimmer, the wick trimmer, use your wick trimmer before lighting your candle on every occasion to achieve the maximum satisfaction from your candle. Bring the trimmer blades towards the wick parallel to the wax and cut the wick to a height of about a quarter of an inch or 0.63 centimeters from the wax. Remove and throw the wick debris away. So it tells you all this stuff on the back, which is kind of cool. So yeah, I'm glad I went there. Uh, Huntington Home is nice, okay? And that's the brand of candles that they, uh, have, but they, they carry a lot of. All right, so... Now, uh, a couple weeks ago, I went and got some candles, and I just never got my video up and running for you guys. Sorry. Um, and I'm not even sure they have these there anymore. Um, oh, this one they did. I seen this one there today when I went. But Okay, so the first one is Blood Orange Persimmon. And I love this one. I'm not really normally like the Blood Orange, but oh my gosh. This is so citrusy. I can smell a citrusy. It smells orangey and tart, but a little sweetness to it. I think I'm going to like that one. I really am. It's really, it really smells fresh and clean. And of course, they do not have the scent notes. But this is a Huntington Home candle. I think this was like four something I got this for. So these, this one was over by the... Um, uh, cleaning products, you know, by the toilet paper area. So, uh, yeah, that's that. These are three wick candles. I guess I didn't show you that. They are comparable in size to Bath and Body Works candle, three wicks. Um, but these are like four or five bucks, you know, and they're good. They're really good candles. Okay, so I got that one. And then they did have a couple more different ones of the, these, these were not, these two were not by the, I don't think. This one was either, was it? No. Um, these two were over in the, um, oh, there's a name for it, what they call it. 
I can't think of what it's called now. Oh, the Aldi Finds. Aldi Finds area. And they had a couple different other ones too, but those I didn't like. So I got this one. This one was Cucumber Mint Leaf. And I didn't see the this one there today when I went in there. But I went to a different Aldi, so I don't know if my Aldi will still have or not. But it does smell like cucumber. Very light mint. Now maybe when I start... Um, burning it, that mint might come out a little bit more through it. It's good. I like it. Oh, mint leaf. Cucumber and mint leaf. Anyway, it's I like it. So, um, I, I do really for something for this one, too. And then I got the sea salt bergamot. Because I like bergamot. I'm really getting into bergamot. Oh, this is, I really like this one. It smells almost like a light cologne. Yeah, that one's going to be good. Sea salt and bergamot. I can't remember what the other two scents were in that area. I just didn't like them. And then we got Coco Cove. I heard a lot about this one before that came out. Came out. And it smells good. I don't know what the scents are, but it's got coconut, but it smells like it's got something like, like a coastal sea salty. It smells like you're at the beach, you know, just light coconut. And I don't think it's got the notes on it either. Let me see. No, I wish they put the notes on them. So anyway, I got that one. That one was for, uh, for something as well. Alrighty guys, so that is my, that's my little Aldi's haul, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, do you guys shop at Aldi's at all? I do. Um, I don't go for like my main shopping. I do get, pick up things from there from time to time. There are things I really do enjoy. I love their sausage, their ground sausage. It's so good. The Appleton Farms, that's really good. I love their Appleton Farms bacon as well. Um, I love the snacks, the keto snacks. Those are great. And I, I love the candles. I really do love the candles. They had some, lots of candles on sale this week. And, um, but I just think I wasn't in the candle shopping kind of mood to, today. So I didn't pick any up today. Um, I got, I don't know, whatever every once in a while, this really hits me. I'm like, I can't, I can't, I can't, I gotta get my candles. But I haven't been that way for a couple of weeks now. So, um, anyway. Uh, you guys have a great weekend. This is my fourth video, and I am pooped, tired, and I'm going to uh, call it a day. <laughs> I'm going to go uh, relax a little bit. So, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you on the next time. If you're new here, please subscribe before you leave. We'd love to have you join our family here and uh, click the notification bell so you're notified, notified of any of my new uploaded videos. And uh, if you guys have been here on for a while, thank you guys so much. I love you all. And uh, please make sure you like and comment and share. Um, especially comment because I really like to hear from you guys. And uh, we're at 700 subscribers so we get to 750 guys we're going to do a giveaway. Giveaway. And I think it's going to be a mystery one this time. I think I'm thinking mystery giveaway. Um, but it's going to have some fun stuff in it. So, um, thank you all so very much. Without you, none of this would be possible. Imagine that. <laughs> so, I love doing this. And I will see you. I'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye-bye.